Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am testing all of my Pat McGrath slash Bridgerton collection. I have stuff from both collections and I am super excited to share them with you guys today. I love the show Bridgerton. I do want to test these products out today and give you like my first impressions of them. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell so you'll know when I put out a new video. And also if you like these type of videos, give this video a thumbs up. So if you want to see me apply these products and give you my first impressions, then just keep watching. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started. I am going to prime my eyes with my Jaclyn Hill. This is the eye base. Let me go ahead and put a little bit of this on. I've already got my concealer on and my foundation. I'm testing out a new concealer today and a foundation. I have a little bit of dryness under my eyes, so I don't know if it's like the best time to test this, but I am going to be testing out the concealer a lot more and the foundation, but I wanted to try it on today and I think it looks really pretty. Like I said, this is all about the Pat McGrath Bridgerton collection. So I have some things from the first collection that was released and then I have some things from the second collection but yeah I only picked up like three lipsticks and then the rest are like face palettes there is some glitter so that's why I wore a tank top today I figured I could just kind of put on some of the shimmer for you guys so you can see what that looks like but I need to get some brushes because I have no brushes here with me in the living room so I'll be right back all right so last night I washed all of my brushes so I only have a few here that are clean that aren't wet so I do want to do my eyes first. So I have two of the eye palettes here and I want to use both of them. This is the Mothership Diamond of the First Water. So this is what that palette looks like. These palettes are so beautifully made. They have some really beautiful like artwork on them. And then here is the palette and the shades. It comes with a mirror, which I will be using because I have a light up mirror, but I feel like it just kind of gives like some reflection off. So I don't want to use that. So here's a second palette. This one is called Belle of the Ball. And these are the shades in this one. Let's compare both of them. Now I do find that these shades are very unique, especially the gold one up there. I think that is so gorgeous. So yeah, this one is like a more recent one and this one is the first one. Yes, what I'm gonna do, since I'm gonna use both of these palettes, I guess I'm gonna go into this shade right here. I'm just going to place that a little bit above the crease. That shade is so different than what it looks like in the palette. See how light it is here? It looks a little bit darker on the eye. So from this palette, I'm gonna take this shade right here. I'm just gonna deepen up that crease this is a really pretty shade too these appear to be like matte in the palette but they have more of a satin finish to them so they have like a sheen to them they're not like super matte I'm gonna stay with this palette and I'm gonna go into this shade here and I'm just going to deepen the outer corner bringing it in halfway and blending everything together I wanted to use this shade but I think everybody uses that shade, so I wanna use a blue shade. Out of this palette here, I'm gonna go into this shade right here, and then just placing that on the lid. Oh wow, that's a gorgeous, gorgeous shade. Can you guys see how beautiful that is? I'm gonna use some of this blue here. So I'm gonna take that same brush, and I'm just going to pat that right on the center, and it just gives a little bit of shimmer. I wanna see how this one actually goes on top. I'm gonna add a little bit of this one on top of that blue, and I mix it together. Kinda of gives that same effect, where it's more like a shimmery topper that adds a little bit of color. All right, so let's go on with the next product, and that's gonna be blush. So from the first collection, this is the Divine Blush and Glow Trio Love It First Blush. So this is the blush palette, and then here are your blushes. So you have a, two blushes, and I think this is a highlighter, if I'm not mistaken. This one right here, sorry. This is a highlighter. Then I have this other blush palette, and this one is a little bit more like bulky in size. It wouldn't be really good for travel. You'd really have to just use it at home, unless you found a way to take these out. And I think the packaging's cute, but it's just too bulky. And then right here are the blushes, and I think this is a highlighter. So I thought that was pretty cute. It's a little hard. So we're gonna go in with a couple of these blushes. I'm gonna try one from each palette. I think these are the same formula as her single blushes. So yeah, we're gonna go in with one of these and then we'll top it off with one of these. I think I wanna try this one in the middle. I'm just going to press that in. 
This one has like a little sheen to it, which is pretty. I got some glitter on my face. You can see it right there and I can't take it off. I'm just gonna go over it with blush. When I was doing my eyes, I dropped the brush on my cheek. It's not because of fallout. All right, so that is the blush. And I think that one is called Nymphette. Okay, so now I wanna try this pink blush right here. Ooh, it's pigmented, better be careful. And just go on top and bring it in front. These look like a kind of like a baked formula. If you look up close, they look more like a baked formula. Now I did put a lot on, but I'm gonna tone it down with powder. But I really wanted to see how beautiful these blushes are. They're so pretty. So I do have a highlighter and this is it really beautiful packaging. It's a typical packaging that Pat McGrath has, but it does have like this gold emblem on the front for the Bridgerton line. This is the Divine Glow Highlighter. On the bottom it says, use without caution. So they want you to go heavy handed with this, but this is it right here. I'm gonna swatch it before I use it because I wanna see how blinding it is. It's not too bad, it looks really pretty. I wanna say it has like this gold sheen to it. And then I'm just gonna go over. Ooh, that is very blinding. There is a glow from the blush. Adding this on actually adds more glow. I know you guys can tell. It's like pretty, pretty glowy. I am gonna use the shimmer, the body shimmer. This is so cute. It's like in a little packaging, just like the blushes, but of course it's smaller because it's just the body shimmer. So it comes with this really cute little puff. Just put a tiny bit in there. I just want to test it out. I'm gonna put it on with this puff. Put it on my decollete. I really don't like it with the puff. I think it'll look better with the brush. Puff made it look a little chunky. I think the brush blends it out a little bit better. It might be because I have lotion on too. Put a little bit on my shoulder. Give it that little golden glow. You see, this one's not as glowy as this one. Wow, that looks really pretty. All right, so I toned down the blush. It's still really beautiful. I have a lot of glow going on today, which I don't mind. I like the way it looks. It looks really pretty. So I have three lipsticks. So look at the packaging of these lipsticks. Are they not the cutest? So cute. All right, so this one is Veiled Rose, and it's such a beautiful, beautiful, rosy shade. Oh, I forgot to show you the box packaging, but this is the box packaging for all the lipsticks. Really cute packaging. This one is a different shade, but it's the same type of packaging with a bow on the front. This shade is called Negligee. It's a beautiful brown nude tone. And then this last one, I think it's called Venusen or Venison Peach. It's this beautiful like peachy nude shade. So now we're gonna try them all on. I've gotta get a lip liner. Brought my lip liner case. All right, so I'm gonna go in with this Patrick Ta lip liner. This one's in the shade She's Strong. I think this one will go with every lipstick I'm gonna try on today. So I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips. We're gonna go in with the first shade, which is the Rose shade. Oh, that's pretty. Feels really nice on the lips too. That is such a beautiful rosy shade. So that is the rose shade, really pretty. All right, let me reline my lips a little bit. We're gonna go in with negligee, which is this shade right here. Kind of like a brown nude. My lips are so chapped. So I'm so glad these are creamy because they feel really nourishing on the lips. Ooh, that's pretty too. So that is negligee, really, really beautiful shade. This one is the peach one. I don't know how to say that first word. So yeah, I don't want to butcher it any more than I already have. That is beautiful. Wow, these are so, so pretty. All right, guys, let's go ahead and go over these products really quickly. Let's start off with the eye palettes first. So the eye palettes are pretty amazing. They have really good pigmentation. The shadows in here are so, so creamy. They just blend really well, and the eye look came out really beautiful. I loved every shade that I used. I definitely wanna try that gold shade, but with all the shades that I used today, I didn't have any issues with them. It's just a really good formula. So yeah, I do love both of these eye palettes. So I initially had purchased some blushes that were of this 
um, type of formula, you know, in her single blushes. I ended up taking them back because I felt like, I don't know, they just didn't wow me. But for these blushes, I really love the way they went on the skin. Now, I say they're the same formula, but they may not be. I mean, I don't know. I haven't really researched that. But to me, they feel very creamy. I was really surprised this one showed up so well on my skin tone because I am a little bit darker, but it did. They are pigmented. So those are the shades right there that are in this palette. The highlight's called Cherish. The one in the middle that was Nymphat. The third one is Venus Nectar. So yeah, these are some really gorgeous shades. They're gonna be perfect for like summer. And I do love like this highlighter in here. I think it's so pretty. Um, I didn't try it on my cheeks today because I tried it on the other one, but I really do like this palette. It's a really good palette. And then for this one here, I love this one as well. I mean, these are super pigmented. So you're gonna have to be careful. So again, I didn't use a highlight. Ooh, that felt weird. So I'm swatching the highlight. It feels really gritty. And it does have a little bit of micro glitter in there. It's right there. It's just not as smooth looking as this one that's up here. So yeah, that feels a little gritty. These two shades right here are the shades that I didn't wear, but the one at the top is the one that I have on. That's that pink shade. And then there's these two shades right here that are on my wrist. They're pretty pigmented. You have to be careful. Go in with a light hand. Blush that I used in here it works really well. I'm sure the other blushes will perform just like that one as well. So I'm not too worried about just having that highlighter that I really don't like the feeling of it or the consistency of it. I don't feel too bad about that because the blushes actually make up for it. So for the next product is the Body Shimmer. So I love the Body Shimmer. It went on so beautifully. Look at how like glowy my skin looks. It's just really, really beautiful. For the Bridgerton highlighter, this is a beautiful highlighter. You can either use this like lightly or you can go in heavy handed. This would be good to use on your inner corner. But yeah, I'm gonna put a little bit more on because I think the powder took some off. But see how I just put just a little bit on with my finger. I just think it can be really subtle and it can be really like pretty strong if you want it to. So yeah, I love the highlighter. Very creamy, very smooth. I didn't really notice like any glitter in there. It has a really beautiful like sheen, like a glow to it. But yeah, I didn't notice any glitter in there or anything like that. So I like that about that. Most of the time when I wear a highlighter, which has been very rarely here lately, I want something that's kind of like a little more subtle. All right. So for the lipsticks, of course, you guys know, and you could, you could tell that I loved the lipsticks. I love the way they went on. I love the consistency of them. I love the formula of them. They're really, really creamy, especially for the fact that I had really dry lips. I felt like they just went on like, like a dream. And I especially love the packaging. The packaging is totally me. I love like girly packaging like this. So pretty. It's going to look really nice, like sitting on top of my makeup desk. I was looking at my skin and I really didn't find like any issues with texture. Um, and I don't really have a lot of texture on my skin, but I do have a little bit, you know, I have fine lines and stuff and I don't feel like it looks bad at all on my skin. Um, it went on pretty smooth. I didn't have any issues with any of these products. They're all really, really good products. Like I said, I love Bridgerton. I've seen every episode. I love the fact that it's like made back in the day, but they also put like more of a modern twist to it, especially with the music. So I really do love that about that show. So thank you guys for being here. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Take care and we'll see you soon. Bye.